Israeli troops on Sunday advanced in the northern Gaza Strip, capturing an urban area near Beit Hanun as fierce fighting continued around Shifa Hospital, and Israel maintained it was working to ensure that civilians and patients were unharmed in the battles. The Israel Defense Forces early on November 13 announced that their troops successfully delivered 300 liters of fuel to Al Shifa Hospital for urgent medical purposes. They added that Hamas reportedly prohibited the hospital from accepting the fuel. Our troops risked their lives to hand deliver 300 liters of fuel to the Al Shifa Hospital for urgent medical purposes. Hamas forbade the hospital from taking it. Gaza's Hamas run health ministry has been warning for weeks that its hospitals are running out of fuel. If so, why would they prevent the hospital from receiving it? said the IDF in a post on X. The army has accused Hamas of having its main base of operations under Shifa Hospital and has called on Palestinian civilians in the area as well as in the entire northern Gaza to evacuate south. The IDF said that early Sunday morning it placed jerry cancer fuel near the hospital for urgent medical purposes, which it had coordinated in advance with the officials. Later, it said the IDF received evidence that Hamas officials prevented the hospital from receiving the fuel. The military published a call between an IDF officer and a senior Gazan health official who said that Yusuf Abu al Rish, the deputy health minister in Gaza, forbade the hospital from receiving the fuel. The IDF did not say what happened with the fuel after that. In an earlier statement, IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari also said there is no siege of Shifa Hospital and emphasized ongoing cooperation with Gaza's hospital staff. He said talks are being held to facilitate the safe movement of Gazans from Al Shifa Hospital, particularly focusing on the east side open for safe passage. There has been a lot of misinformation from Gaza today, so I want to clarify the facts. There is no siege, I repeat, there is no siege on the Shifa Hospital. The Israeli military also said Sunday that humanitarian pauses in the northern Gaza Strip will continue to enable Palestinians to evacuate south. The IDF's Arabic language spokesman, Lieutenant Colonel Avice Adrai, wrote on X that Salah Adin Road was open for southbound movement for a total of seven hours Sunday between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Israel has presented evidence in recent weeks that Hamas's main command center is located underneath Shifa and accused the terror group of using the hospital and its occupants with 1,500 beds and some 4,000 staff as human shields for the elaborate bunkers and tunnels beneath it. The war between Israel and Hamas has intensified over the past few weeks. Israel has been launching massive retaliatory assaults against Gaza's Hamas rulers after its fighters carried out an attack on October 7 in which at least 1,400 people were killed. According to the health ministry in Gaza, over 11,000 Palestinians, including children, have been killed in the Israeli strikes so far.